So it's almost 2019 and it's time to start thinking about those New Year's resolutions. Some of you might be thinking that 2019 is the year you become a blockchain developer. In this video, I'm going to lay out the things you need to know to get started. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that notification icon so you can see whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. As with anything you want to become good at, you have to first understand the basics. Blockchain development is no different. Some of the things you're going to want to research are, what is a blockchain? What is decentralization? What is a consensus mechanism? For instance, what's the difference between proof of work versus proof of stake? What are miners and validators, and how do they fit into the whole blockchain sphere? What is a smart contract, and how does it differ from a normal program? Those are just a few of the things you're going to know before you start moving further. You're also going to want to understand how this whole blockchain thing works. The best way to do that is to actually use it and see it in action. If you're familiar with blockchain, you're familiar with Bitcoin and Ethereum. A good first step is to go ahead and purchase some Bitcoin or Ethereum. Send it to a friend. Send it to yourself. See how it all works so you can have a better understanding in your head how everything works behind the scene. Once you're comfortable sending and receiving tokens, try some applications like Metamask or Mist or the Trust Wallet for your mobile. Use those applications to interact with dApps. If you don't have the money to spend on Bitcoin or Ethereum, most popular blockchain platforms provide test nets with test tokens that you can actually use and play with for your development and learning purposes. Now that you know the basics, and then how everything works, just as the name blockchain developer implies, you're gonna to wanna to know how to code. If you don't already, it's a good idea to learn at least one high level language. Some languages I would recommend are C++, C Sharp, JavaScript, Python, or Go. These languages are great because they all have pretty good support for interaction with different blockchains. Once you have a basic understanding of at least one of those languages, go ahead and make sure you're familiar with object-oriented programs. If you're going to be building applications that are user-facing, meaning they have a user interface, such as a web page or a mobile application, you're gonna to wanna to become familiar with HTML, CSS, and even a little bit of JavaScript. Once you're comfortable with coding, you're gonna to wanna to move into making smart contracts. Smart contracts are actually code that run on top of a blockchain, and they're a little bit different in nature. So you're going to want to learn the difference between regular programs and smart contracts. One of the most popular platforms for creating smart contracts is Ethereum. And the most popular language right now is Solidity. So learn Solidity and you'll be able to create some really cool applications in Ethereum. If you want to work with Bitcoin, Rootstock is another blockchain option that runs smart contracts alongside the Bitcoin network that also uses the Solidity programming language. Some other smart contract languages you might want to know are Viper and Bamboo. Or if you want to work with a platform like EOS or the Loom Network, you can use C++ or Go to create smart contracts. Once you have all that knowledge, you're going to want to start using it. Just build. If you have a really cool idea, just build something in your spare time. And that's the easiest way for you to learn and become more familiar with the skills that you've just acquired. Next, I would encourage you to participate. And one of the ways you can participate is to join online forums such as Reddit, Stack Exchange, or Delegate Call. These are all places where developers gather, ask questions, share new information, share tutorials, and it's a good place for you to acquire new knowledge and share your knowledge with the rest of the community. Another good idea is to join the Slack or Telegram channels of the blockchain platforms you are a fan of. And finally, subscribe to YouTube channels like this one. Also consider signing up for my newsletter where I periodically send out tips, tricks, and new information. And that's it guys. If you're serious about becoming a blockchain developer in 2019, go ahead and give this roadmap a try. I'll leave a link to the outline in the description down below. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you found this information valuable, We'll go ahead and give this video a like that really helps my videos get found and helps to grow this channel once again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video